All right, you guys, it's News Series Elizabeth White. We're back here live at the Dollar General. Sorry, we lost that feed for just a little bit. Uh, it's getting spotty out here. So again, we are here at the Auburn Live Dollar General where there has been some sort of shooting in the parking lot. Uh, a massive law enforcement presence is here. Uh, Will? We're about to move everybody back across the street to the parking lot right over here to the uh, car lot. Will, can you tell us anything about what's going on right now at this point in time? I, I'm trying to get the details myself. Okay. So. Let's move everybody back across the street to the... All right. Will Matthews with the Auburn Police Department is moving us back from the scene right now. Can you grab that for me? Will this stay on? Yeah. So again, it's News Reads Elizabeth White. We're live here along Opelika Road. They're going to cross through the parking lot right over here. At the Dollar General where there's been some sort of... Thank you. All right, so we do understand Auburn Police Chief Paul Register and has set up basically a zone here for the media. We do expect any moment now, uh, Chief Register will be over here kind of letting the media and the public know what they know at this point in time. Let's just recap, probably about 45 minutes ago, we received information that there had been shots fired here at the Dollar General, just off of Opelika Road near Gentry Drive. You can see traffic is being diverted off of Opelika Road as we speak. There was a massive law enforcement presence here at the Dollar General. And when we arrived, we saw a lone Auburn police cruiser, an SUV with the driver's side door ajar with, we counted multiple manila envelopes that had been folded in half and placed on the ground, uh, indicating there was some sort of ballistic evidence on the parking lot in front of the Dollar General. So. We have heard from witnesses uh, that there was a shooting here. And right now there are unconfirmed reports that we are not even going to speculate about until we can speak with Auburn's police chief, Paul Register, and he can share with the public what he wants to share with the public. Just a few minutes ago, Lee County District Attorney Brandon Hughes did arrive on the scene. He did look visibly upset. And now here is Captain Bobby Kilgore with the Opelika Police Department here. If you just look down Opelika Road, there's a sea of lights, blue and red flashing lights, as multiple law enforcement agencies have gathered here at the Dollar General. And we are just asking for your prayers at this point in time, because it does appear that I don't know what it appears right now. All I know is that prayers would definitely be appreciated, I'm sure. Okay, Bobby, are you going to be making a statement or are you waiting on people? Okay, you're here with the media. So, a like police captain Bobby Kilgore is on the scene. Uh, he is facilitating the media relations for the Auburn Police Department. Again, we are live here at the Dollar General along Opelika Road and Gentry Drive where there is just a massive law enforcement presence. Yellow crime scene tape surrounds the Dollar General. When we arrived, the ambulances were still here and then shortly after we got here, those ambulances took off in the direction of East Alabama Medical Center. Auburn Fire remains on the scene. Lee County Sheriffs are here, Opelika is here, Auburn is here. It's just a massive law enforcement turnout here at the Dollar General. There are witnesses outside the Dollar General just kind of standing around and we did see several canine units kind of sweeping the perimeter of the location. At this point, we are unsure exactly what has happened. We safely can say that there's been some sort of shooting here, but at this point we cannot confirm on the record who has been injured and whether or not suspects or a suspect or a person of interest has been taken into custody.
We understand Chief Paul Register is hopefully getting ready to come over and let the community know exactly what is going on or what he knows at this point in time. But again, just about 45 minutes ago, we heard that several shots have been fired in the parking lot of the Dollar General here at Opelika Road and Gentry Drive. And there was just a massive law enforcement response when we arrived. Just countless Auburn police officers, Opelika police officers, as well as the Lee County Sheriff's Office. First responders from the Auburn Police Department, as well as numerous ambulances on the scene. And then shortly thereafter, Lee County District Attorney Brandon Hughes arriving on the scene, ducking under the yellow crime scene tape where he walked over to that lone Auburn Police SUV and the door is still ajar, surrounded uh, by manila envelopes that have been placed on the ground. Uh, and that's normally done when they are marking some sort of ballistic evidence or shell casings. So again, the news media has been pushed back over here at Opelika Road. Uh, far away from the crime scene tape and the Dollar General where this investigation seems to be focusing on. And at this point, we are just waiting to see uh, and hope that Chief Register will come over and share with us information, hoping that everybody is okay. We're just hoping he tells us everybody is okay. I think everybody in the city of Auburn and Opelika and Lee County and East Alabama and everybody who is watching this right now is holding their breaths and just hoping that Chief Paul Register with the Auburn Police Department will walk over and tell us that everybody is going to be okay. And again, if you've heard information from offline sources and again, I would just ask that you please respect the people that are involved in the situation and not share speculation or rumors or God forbid names in the comments underneath this Facebook Live. Let's just calm down and wait until we can hear from Chief Paul Register from the Auburn Police Department and he can tell us exactly what the facts are. So again, there is no speculation and no needless worry. And again, right now, everybody is just hoping and praying that Chief Register will come over and tell us that everybody is okay. And again, just a sea of flashing blue and red lights along Opelika Road here in Auburn. Traffic is being diverted around. It's just best to stay away from the area. All right, you guys, it's News 3's Elizabeth White. Uh, we are not gonna speculate in, in what we've heard. Um, we are simply just going to wait for Auburn Police Chief Paul Register to come over and let us know exactly what's going on. Something clearly happened here at the Dollar General. Obviously it was a shooting just about an hour ago here along Opelika Road and Gentry Drive. This is next to the O'Reilly Auto Parts, just down the street from the Auburn Mall and Country's Barbecue. Right now, Opelika Road, just filled with flashing blue and red lights. As a massive law enforcement presence, Auburn Police, Lee County Sheriffs, as well as Opelika Police are on the scene. As well as Auburn Fire Department and first responders and those ambulances were here when we arrived, but so they are no longer here anymore. Crime scene tape surrounds the Dollar General. 
and in the middle of that parking lot kind of parked in a diagonal is a Auburn police SUV patrol vehicle. The door is ajar to the driver's side and sprinkled around that SUV, it's yellow manila envelopes folded in half as markers. Uh, it appears marking ballistic evidence here in front of the Dollar General. Just about 10 minutes ago or about five minutes ago, the media was asked to cross the street, cross Opelika Road where we are now. And we are told that just as soon as possible, Auburn Police Chief Paul Register and other investigators will come over to the media and share with us exactly what is happening. We are not going to speculate. We are going to wait for Chief Register to share with us what exactly is going on. And we are just hoping and praying that he tells us everybody is okay. Now, in terms of suspects or a person of interest, at this point in time, again, it's all just a mystery. What we do know is that there is a massive law enforcement presence. The mood is somber. Many of the investigators and police officers are wearing their bulletproof vests. There's not a lot of talking happening. There's a lot of work happening. And again, the mood is very somber and quiet. And again, if you wouldn't mind just Keep your comments and your speculations and what you're hearing off of this Facebook feed. And God forbid, please don't mention any names in the comments. We just want to wait for Chief Paul Register to come over and let us know exactly what's going on. So now investigators are extending this crime scene down from the Dollar General to the early O'Reilly Auto Parts now. So the crime scene is being extended. And again, when we were here, we did see canine units on the scene. I mean, everybody and their brother and their sister was on this scene here at the Dollar General. Again, Auburn Police, Lee County Sheriff's Opelika now being called in to handle media relations for this incident. And again, we're hoping Chief Register from the Auburn Police Department will come over and let us know that everybody is okay. That is what everybody is hoping and praying for. But again, just about an hour ago, received several calls that shots have been fired and gunshots were heard in front of the Dollar General. And when we arrived, there was crime scene tape around the Dollar General. There were witnesses out front of those doors, cruiser in the front. and. in the front uh, with the door ajar again with several markings on the ground indicating potential ballistic evidence So again, three Auburn police officers just took off down Opelika Road. Uh, they're heading to the old Saco. There goes the other one right there. That's a state trooper. They're flying down the road. That's towards so we don't know exactly what that was about, uh, but apparently three Auburn police officers and a state trooper doing U-turns in the middle of Opelika Road, speeding off in the direction of Auburn University down Opelika Road. Uh, goodness, we'll ask about that too. And again, the mood is somber. Everybody is just quietly doing their work. Um, Again, when we first arrived, there was a large circle of investigators gathered around just behind the Auburn police officer's SUV, and they were huddled, quietly speaking, and then everybody just started fanning out and doing their jobs. Chief Register, we do know, is on the scene, as well as his top captains. Uh, Brandon Hughes, also the Lee County District Attorney, also arriving on the scene. He is here ducking under that crime scene tape and heading straight for the investigators behind that Auburn police officer SUV. 
Opelika has been called in. Lee County has been called in. This is a situation where obviously mutual aid went out and the law enforcement agencies all across Lee County responded and they responded in force. At this point in time, we are obviously hearing the speculation. I'm sure that you are as well. But again, we are not going to share any information until we hear that information from Auburn Police Chief Paul Register. And we are told that he is hoping to be over here momentarily to share with us and you, the public and the community, exactly what's going on. And of course, we are all holding our breaths, hoping and praying that Chief Register tells us everybody is OK. That's the one thing we want to hear in terms of suspects or persons of interest in this shooting. Just about five minutes ago, you were here with us on Facebook Live when you saw three Auburn police cruisers turn around heading into the direction of Dean Road and Auburn University, as well as a state trooper just take off flying. So we don't know if that situation was probably related or not. You guys, I just want to, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to get in y'all's way. I just want to step over here. It looks like we're seeing possibly some heavy law enforcement activity just down Opelika Road um, that way. So we're watching that for you as well. Um, but again, we are not going to leave this location because first and foremost, we are waiting to hear from Chief Register to let us know the information that he can share with the community at this point in time. Again, I'd say about an hour ago, I uh, started receiving several phone calls that shots had been fired here at the Dollar General just off Opelika Road. When we arrived, obviously found the yellow crime scene tape surrounding the Dollar General and multiple law enforcement on scene numerous auburn police officers opelika lee county sheriff as well as first responders with auburn fire and multiple ambulances there is a auburn police suv parked haphazardly in the middle of the dollar general parking lot the door is open on the driver's side and scattered around on the parking lot surrounding that police officer's vehicle are yellow manila envelopes folded in half being used apparently as markers for ballistic evidence at the scene. So we do know there has been some sort of shooting. We are not going to speculate. Again, I've said it a million times, I refuse to speculate. We are going to wait until Auburn Police Chief Paul Register comes over and shares the information with us. And again, we are just holding our breaths and hoping and praying that he is going to tell us everybody is okay. Brandon Hughes is on the scene just about seven, seven minutes ago. Uh, we saw three Auburn police cars. They were parked just down here on Opelika Road, take off, heading towards Auburn University in the Dean Road direction, along with an Alabama State Trooper. 
so we don't know if that's connected to just this massive investigation that is unfolding here at the Dollar General. Also to the left, it does appear as though there are more, if I can zoom in, police officers gathering just down the road here in front of the U-Haul at Opelika Road. It does appear that there's more of a police presence in that location. Again, canine officers and their handlers are on the scene working the perimeter. And at this point, we do not know if there is a suspect or a person of interest either identified or in custody involved in the shooting here at the Dollar General. All right, you guys, so. All right, you guys, there's some activity just to the left of me here on Opelika Road. Um, <clears throat> just a, this is just across from Niffers. Uh, if you're familiar with Auburn, uh, it looks like there's a cluster of police activity in that area. And just across there, some new building, I believe, happening over there where the um, there used to be an old Plaza Motel there. They recently tore that down a couple of months ago where they're building uh, some new residential housing in that area. There appears to be a cluster of law enforcement activity happening in that area, so we are not sure if uh, potentially there just seems to be a lot of law enforcement focus down to my left at this point in time, just I'd say not even half a mile from the Dollar General where this alleged shooting or the shooting happened, just a about an hour ago. All right, you guys, it's News 3's Elizabeth White. Again, we are live along Opelika Road and Gentry Drive. Uh, we're really just about an hour ago, we received a call that there had been shots fired at the Dollar General here along Opelika Road in Auburn. This is just across the street from the country's barbecue and just down the street from Nippers. Uh, when we arrived, obviously there was yellow crime scene tape up around the Dollar General and there was just a sea of law enforcement activity happening when we arrived. Auburn Police, Opelika, Lee County Sheriff's, Auburn Fire, as well as first responders, EMS and medics on the scene. When we arrived, the ambulances began leaving. Um, and when we got closer to the parking lot in front of the Dollar General, 
you can see an Auburn police officer's SUV parked haphazardly in the middle of the parking lot. The driver's side door was ajar and still is ajar. And again, multiple envelopes folded in half, placed on the ground in the parking lot. Markers indicating some sort of ballistic evidence in the parking lot. We are not going to speculate at this point in time what we are hearing. We are going to instead wait for Auburn Police Chief Paul Register until he is ready to come over and speak with the media and inform you, the community, as to what transpired here at the Dollar General just about an hour ago. And again, we are all just hoping and praying and holding our breaths that Chief Register is gonna walk over and tell us everybody is okay. Now, in terms of suspects or a person of interest, just about 15 minutes ago, uh, we saw three Auburn police officers and a state trooper take off heading towards Dean Road. And then all of a sudden, <clears throat> to the left of us in front of Nippers and that big U-Haul sign, it appeared that there was a cluster of law enforcement officers surrounding that area, which is just about a half a mile from the Dollar General. Again, you can easily see it coming down Opelika Road. Opelika Road just lighting up tonight with blue and red emergency flashing lights. Uh, Captain Bobby Kilgore with the Opelika Police Department is on scene. He is handling media for Auburn Police Office, for the Auburn Police Department. So obviously mutual aid was called and that call was answered in force by every single law enforcement agency in the Lee County area. And we need to include Alabama State Troopers as well. Everybody is here. The mood is somber, they are quiet, they are wearing their bulletproof vest, and they are doing their jobs. The road is closed, you're asked to avoid the area if at all possible, and it appears as though this road is gonna be closed down for quite some time. And again, whatever happened here, I'm sure every single law enforcement officer, their family and the community here in Auburn and Lee County will appreciate your prayers. All right, you guys, it's News 3's Elizabeth White. If you're just joining us, I want to recap what we know so far. Just about an hour, hour and 15 minutes ago, we received a call that shots had been fired at the Dollar General located at Opelika Road, just across from Gentry Drive. When we arrived, 
just a sea of law enforcement officers were on the scene, Auburn Police, Opelika, Lee County Sheriffs, as well as first responders and fire trucks with the Auburn Fire Department, EMS and medics were also on the scene. We saw the Dollar General have been surrounded with yellow crime scene tape and there were numerous people, it appeared to be witnesses, standing in front of the doors at the Dollar General. Investigators obviously on the scene. Hold on. Investigators were on the scene and parked in the middle of the Dollar General parking lot um, was an Auburn SUV, a patrol vehicle with the driver door still ajar and surrounding that SUV was numerous envelopes, manila envelopes folded in half and they were placed on the parking lot, apparently marking ballistic evidence on the scene. Um, canine units were also on scene searching the perimeter. And again, we have seen Chief Register here as well as Lee County District Attorney Brandon Hughes. There has been some sort of shooting. We are unsure of any injuries. Um, and again, we are not going to speculate until Chief Register or somebody else at the Auburn Police Department can walk over and share with us exactly what is going on. And again, if y'all can just keep the speculation to a minimum, I would really appreciate it. Obviously, don't share any names or what you think you've heard, because at this point in time, we've all heard. It's just a matter of confirming this information and making sure the correct information gets out to the community out of respect for the families that are involved in this situation. Obviously, a mutual aid call was sent out and the law enforcement agencies across Lee County, including Alabama State Troopers, responded in force to help out their brothers and sisters in blue. And right now, we're just hoping Chief Register can come over and tell us that everybody is okay. And again, just to the left, it looks like there's some sort of concentrated law enforcement activity happening just about a half a mile down from where this alleged shooting happened at the Dollar General. Uh, we're keeping an eye on that for you as well. And really just about 15 minutes ago, uh, we saw three Auburn police cruisers as well as an Alabama State Trooper just peel off heading in the direction of Dean Road towards Auburn University. We do not know if there is a suspect in custody or if there is even a person of interest in what appears to be a shooting here at the Dollar General. Investigators are on the scene and again, the brother and sisters in blue are being backed up and at this point held up by local law enforcement agencies that responded to a call for mutual aid. Auburn Fire still on the scene as well and uh, Auburn police officers walking around with, is that an AR? With an AR. Mm. Mm -mm. So if y'all can avoid the area, I still can't, we're seeing a lot of traffic in this area, so just avoid it if you can. Uh, there's just a massive law enforcement presence. Obviously, uh, a lot of the officers are walking out. We just saw one walking with an AR around his shoulder. So we're assuming that there is a need for that type of protection here at the scene. So just avoid the area if at all possible. Uh, stay at home and just watch it right here on Elizabeth White WRBL. And just as soon as we can share more information with you, we obviously will. But again, we're just hoping that uh, Chief Register walks over and lets us know that everybody is okay. and. 
I think we're all just holding our breath to hear officially from him exactly what happened just about an hour, hour and a half ago here at the Dollar General in Auburn. Certainly just the sheer number of police officers indicate that something big has happened. And um, the call for mutual aid from Opelika and Lee County to come in and join in as well as Alabama State Troopers. Um, indicative of the seriousness of this situation and what's happening here. All right, you guys, it's News Freeze. Elizabeth White, if you're just joining us again, there's been some sort of shooting here at the Dollar General, just a massive law enforcement presence here in Auburn along Opelika Road. We are waiting for Auburn Police Chief Paul Register to come over and give us an interview and let us know exactly what's going on. We are not gonna speculate. Uh, mutual aid has been called in from Auburn Police. We do know that Opelika as well as Lee County Sheriff's on the scene and Alabama State Troopers as well. The turnout from law enforcement is just incredible. Uh, the sheer number of officers and deputies and troopers and investigators that are on the scene, uh, indicative of the seriousness of the situation that is unfolding here at the Dollar General, or did unfold at the Dollar General just about an hour and a half ago. Lee County DA District Attorney Brandon Hughes is also on the scene. Uh, just about 30 minutes ago, we were asked to move across Opelika, uh, excuse me, Opelika Road and gather here across from the Dollar General, obviously to give some more privacy and space to the investigators who are on the scene. Um, we are told that just as soon as possible, Chief Paul Register will come over and let us know the details that he knows at this point in time. We are unsure if a suspect or a person of interest is in custody, but again, it does appear that there is a serious, serious incident being investigated here at the Dollar General. And just to my left, I, I feel like there is even more of a law enforcement presence gathering just about a half a mile down the road here at Opelika Road, more so in front of the Niffers and the U-Haul. There used to be a, the Plaza Motel was there and just a couple of months ago, that Plaza Motel was torn down to make way for some new residential uh, development in that area. And uh, it does look like there's some sort of spotlight over there right now. So we're not sure if that's maybe an area where they're looking for a possible person of interest, but certainly there's a lot of law enforcement interest in that area, just about a half a mile down from the Dollar General. Hold on two seconds, you guys. Mm. 
bear with me for two seconds. She doesn't get out of my way. All right, you guys, it's News Freeze Elizabeth White. If you're just joining us, we're here along Opelika Road in Auburn. You can see the Dollar General, the yellow light glowing in front of you. The parking lot surrounded in yellow crime scene tape or just about an hour, hour and a half ago, we received uh, information that shots had been fired in the Dollar General parking lot and it was a possibility that someone had been wounded in a shooting. When we arrived, there was just a massive law enforcement response here at the Dollar General. The parking lot was surrounded by yellow crime scene tape and parked haphazardly kind of catty cornered was an SUV belonging to an Auburn police officer. The driver's door was ajar and around the ground in the parking lot, just multiple manila envelopes folded in half, apparently marking ballistic evidence surrounding that Auburn police officers SUV um, a mutual aid call did go out to surrounding law enforcement agencies and the Lee County Sheriff's Office the Opelika Police Department and Alabama troop troopers responded to help their brothers and sisters in blue with the Auburn Police Department Lee County District Attorney Brandon Hughes is also on the scene and at this point, we are being told that just as soon as he can, as soon as he is ready, Auburn Police Chief Paul Register will come over and address the media and share with you, the community, exactly what's going on. They're looking for somebody. So again, we're just waiting on uh, Chief Register or just any investigator with the Auburn Police Department to walk over and share with us exactly what is going on. Of course, we are all just, just hoping that everything And again, it's News 3's Elizabeth White. Uh, we are live at the 
Dollar General here in Auburn, just off Opelika Road, across from Gentry Drive, where just about an hour, hour and a half ago, we received information that shots had been fired and that someone was injured here at the Dollar General in a shooting. When we arrived, just, I can't even tell you how many law enforcement officers were already on the scene with the Auburn Police Department, as well as fire with the Auburn Fire Department and medics and ambulances and other first responders. The crime scene tape was up uh, and parked in the parking lot was an SUV on the driver's side door, the emblem of the Auburn Police Division. That door is still ajar, and in the parking lot, several manila envelopes folded in half, uh, indicating potential evidence involving ballistics regarding the shooting. Uh, as soon as we arrived, the ambulances left the scene, um, and very quickly, we understand a mutual aid call went out to agencies across the Lee County area and those agencies responded in force to help out their brothers and sisters in blue at the Auburn Police Department. Lee County Sheriff's deputies on the scene, Alabama troopers on the scene, Opelika police on the scene. Everybody is on the scene. Just an indicator of just how serious this situation is and whatever happened or whatever unfolded here in the parking lot at this Dollar General just about an hour and a half ago along Opelika Road. The stretch of roadway has been closed down just to the left, uh, concentration of law enforcement. And then as we've seen multiple times during this live broadcast, all of a sudden an officer will get in their car and just speed off from the location heading towards Dean Road and Auburn University. At this point, we are not sure if there's a suspect in custody or suspects in custody or a person of interest and again we refuse to speculate and we are asking you not to speculate or god forbid release any names on this facebook live in the comments section until we can hear from the folks that know exactly what's going on and can share the information that they want the community to know so out of respect for the family and friends of those who are involved deeply in this investigation and i'm not just talking about people who may have been wounded in this shooting i'm talking about the families and loved ones of every single law enforcement officer in the east alabama area right now everybody we just need to try to be respectful of law enforcement and just hope and pray that when chief and Re chief register walks over to speak with us that he lets us know that everybody is okay Hey, Em, did you get an email from Auburn Police Division? Nothing. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys.
Sally. Let me read that for you. Thank you, Sally Pitts, my friend here with we're WSB News. We're going to because it's public safety. It's public safety. It's public safety right now. So, Sally, thank you so much. So, getting an email from AU Campus Safety that says police are searching for the suspect believed to be in a silver Jeep Liberty with the Alabama tag 6AB5267. Suspect is a white male wearing a camouflage hoodie. If you see this vehicle or suspect, do not approach, obviously, and call Auburn Police or 911. So again, they're looking for a Silver Jeep Liberty. Thank you so much, Sally. Appreciate you so much. Silver Jeep Liberty, uh, that is the suspect's vehicle. This is a white man wearing a camouflage hoodie. So that appears to be the BOLO information that has gone out on the Auburn University campus alert. It would have been nice if we could have heard that information from Auburn investigators, but nevertheless, that email was sent out by Auburn University and a campus alert. Again, they are looking for a silver Jeep. The suspect is a white male wearing a camouflage hoodie. A white male wearing a camouflage hoodie in a silver Jeep. That is the description according to an AU alert sent out by Auburn University Public Safety. Thank you so much for sharing that information. Who was that? Debbie Watkins, thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, the AU alert again, the suspect is a white male wearing a camo hoodie driving a silver Jeep Liberty with the Alabama tag 6AB5267. If you see this vehicle or suspect, obviously do not approach and call Auburn Police or 911 immediately. Debbie, thank you so much for sharing that information. I can't get to my email because I'm in the middle of doing this Facebook Live. So there you go. Uh, we do know, we have confirmed that there has been a shooting, obviously, at the Dollar General. A suspect is still at large. Again, I repeat, a suspect is still at large. An AU alert sent out telling folks to be on the lookout for a suspect who is a white male wearing a camouflage hoodie driving a silver Jeep Liberty with Alabama tag 6AB5267. If you see this vehicle or suspect, you were asked to call the Auburn Police Department or call 911 just as soon as possible. So again, the shooting here at Dollar General, we are learning new information at this hour. A suspect is on the loose. He is a white man wearing a camouflage hoodie, and he is driving a silver Jeep Liberty with Alabama tags. Thank you. According to Auburn University Campus and Safety, there was an... Let me see here. Thank you. So again, we are live here at the Dollar General um, in this area. You guys need to be on the lookout for a silver Jeep Liberty. Again, with that Alabama tag, 6AB5267. If you see the vehicle or the suspect, do not approach again. Police are looking for a suspect, a white man with a camouflage hoodie. Uh, again, just about an hour and a half ago, we received a call of a shots fired with a possible person who had been wounded here at the Dollar General. Uh, once we arrived, there was just a sea of law enforcement officers. Mutual aid was called out with Lee County Sheriff's Office, Opelika Police, and Alabama troopers responding to help their brothers and sisters in blue with the Auburn Police Department in the parking lot, disturbingly so, parked in a haphazard position was a SUV, an Auburn SUV with the Auburn police emblem on the driver's side door. That driver's side door still open, um, surrounded by crime scene tape and again on the ground around that SUV, folded manila envelopes marking what appeared to be shell casing or just some sort of ballistic evidence that could possibly be needed for the case that is unraveling here at the Dollar General. So the suspect is still at large, a white man in a silver Jeep uh, with that Alabama tag. He was wearing a hoodie. Um, when we arrived, there were multiple ambulances on the scene. As soon as we got here, those ambulances pulled off and we do understand someone has been taken to East Alabama Medical Center, but we are not going to speculate. Instead, we are waiting for Auburn's police chief to please 
come over here and share what he is ready to share with the news media and of course you the community and of course I know we are all holding our breaths and hoping and praying that everybody is okay and of course our thoughts and prayers go to every single law enforcement family in the East Alabama area I mean all across the nation really um, as we await to see exactly what Chief Register is going to share with us. So again, just want to recap, and, and this is the time where you guys go ahead and get on inside and uh, lock your doors and be on the lookout. The Bolo, according to the AU alert, was a suspect in a, is a white male wearing a camouflage hoodie driving a silver Jeep Liberty, Alabama tag 6 a b five two six seven if you see this vehicle again a silver jeep liberty or the suspect do not approach them obviously call auburn police or 911. so a suspect still at large in a shooting here at the dollar general along opelika road in auburn massive police presence here and also just down the way towards the left uh, where the old Plaza Motel has been torn down and new residential housing is under construction across from the Niffers. Uh, we are waiting for Police Chief Paul Register to come over and speak with the media and share with us the information that he knows. And again, our, our thoughts are with the Auburn Police Department and every law enforcement agency across the state of Alabama and across the country. And again, if you are just joining us, I believe most of y'all have been here for most of the time that we have been here live on Facebook. I uh, just wanna recap again what we know. I'm trying to share as much information with you guys as I can. I just want it to be factual without any speculation. We do understand shots were fired here at the Dollar General just about an hour, hour and a half ago. Uh, when we arrived, it was obviously surrounded by crime scene tape and just a massive law enforcement presence here at the Dollar General on Opelika Road in Auburn, just down the street from the Auburn Mall. Uh, we did see a, an Auburn police SUV parked haphazardly. The driver's side door was still open and around it looked like shell casings or some sort of ballistic evidence was being marked by a manila envelope. Uh, immediately, uh, Opelika Road in front of the Dollar General and the O'Reilly Auto Parts was shut down and traffic began diverting around Gentry Drive and folks were asked to avoid the area. Then uh, when we did get here, we did see numerous ambulances who took off uh, heading in the direction of East Alabama Medical Center. Uh, then about 15 minutes after that, Lee County District Attorney Brandon Hughes arrived at the scene, ducked under the yellow crime scene tape, and began speaking with investigators. They were huddled behind uh, the police officer's vehicle and methodically began fanning out and doing their jobs, canines walking the perimeter as well. Then just about 10 or 15 minutes ago, we received word from an AU alert uh, that a bolo had been put out, that they were looking for a suspect described as a white male wearing a camouflage jacket and hoodie, uh, driving a silver Jeep Liberty with an Alabama tag. A silver Jeep Liberty with an Alabama tag. Again, this is a white male suspect wearing a camo jacket. 
just further down, I'd say about 500 yards down here on Opelika Road, there is heavy law enforcement. There's a cluster of, of blue and red lights down there. Uh, this is the location on the same side of the road as the Dollar General of where the old Plaza Motel used to be. They tore that motel down to make way for some new residential housing. Uh, a spotlight was put up, it looks like, and it's a possibility that maybe there's some sort of search happening in that area again, uh, just about a half a mile down the road from the Dollar General. Uh, and then to our right, as we've been seeing throughout the night, uh, police officers getting into their vehicle and then just speeding off in the direction towards Dean Road and Auburn University, kind of disappearing from the scene. Um, again, the call for mutual aid came in. Uh, Lee County, Opelika Police and Alabama Troopers responding to that call of mutual aid and gathering here and the investigation is unfolding. Certainly just the presence, uh, the numerous law enforcement agents and agencies that are on the scene, just indicative that something extremely serious has happened here at the Dollar General. And again, we're not gonna speculate. We are just hoping that when and if Chief Paul Register with the Auburn Police Department walks over that he does share the news that everybody is okay. I think that's what everybody is just hoping and praying he will say. And of course, for everyone that is involved in this situation, I know uh, many families of law enforcement officers are, are watching this Facebook Live right now. And I uh, just wanna let you know that uh, we are surrounding you all as best we can. All right, you guys, it's News Series Elizabeth White. Uh, we continue our live coverage of this event as it unfolds here at the Dollar General. Just about an hour and a half ago, receiving a call that shots had been fired in front of the Dollar General in the parking lot just off Opelika Road near the Gentry Drive turnoff next to O'Reilly Auto Parts. When we arrived, yellow crime scene tape and just a C of law enforcement officers from the Auburn Police Department, Lee County Sheriff's, Opelika, as well as the fire department with Auburn and numerous EMS and first responder medics in their ambulances. 
Um, when we arrived, as soon as we got here, the ambulances took off uh, down Opelika Road, heading towards the Auburn Mall in the direction of the East Alabama Medical Center. And in the parking lot, uh, we see an SUV driven by an Auburn police officer. The door is still ajar, and around that SUV, numerous manila envelopes folded in half placed on the parking lot in the normal way that they would use placards to mark ballistic evidence in the scene of a shooting. Shortly thereafter, Lee County District Attorney Brandon Hughes arrived on the scene here at the Dollar General and began discussing with investigators on the scene. Then we saw about 10 minutes later, the media that had begun to gather here was pushed back across Opelika Road uh, further away from the Dollar General. Uh, there are canine units on the scene and we know the mutual aid call went out and Lee County Sheriff and Opelika Police as well. There we go. Lorenzo's back. Can you hold on two seconds? Hold on, not ready, sorry. I'm not ready. I'm all by myself. I'm trying my best. Sorry about that, Lorenzo. All right, Captain. Just, okay. I'm right. just, Captain Dorsey here with Auburn Police. Just to introduce ourselves, I'm Captain uh, Lorenzo Dorsey. This is Assistant Chief Will Matthews with the Auburn Police Division. Uh, we're prepared to just give a brief statement of the events of the night. And I'm sure you're going to have questions, and we're going to follow up with an actual printed release with some information. Uh, but at about 5.30 p.m. this afternoon, an officer with the Auburn Police Division responded to the 400 block of North Dean Road and rose to report provided with a suspect vehicle description. An Auburn police officer spotted the vehicle, conducted a traffic stop in the 1100 block of Opelika Road, what you see here. Uh, upon approaching the vehicle, the officer was met with gunfire. The officer was struck multiple times. The suspect vehicle was described as a silver 2006 Jeep Liberty Alabama tag 6 a B five two six seven fled the scene in an unknown direction. The vehicle was occupied by a white male and a white female. A person of interest is identified as Christopher James Wallace, 38 years old. The Auburn police officer transported to East Alabama Milk Center for treatment, where he is now. Can you give us an update on his condition, the, the police officer? No, we can't right now. Was he talking? Was he alert when he left the scene, sir? Can you at least tell us that? Yes. He was alert. What can the community do right now to help you at the Auburn Police Department as well as this officer and the family? Well, this information is out about the vehicle and suspect. Anyone want information is certainly encouraged to call police and certainly your thoughts and prayers with the officer. Can you tell us how long that officer has been with the Auburn Police Department? I believe he's been with the department for maybe four or five years now. Four or five years. So did the first scene happen up at the CVS? We were hearing there was potentially a, a robbery at the CVS pharmacy just down the road here. Do you know anything about the CVS being involved in this? No, no, I don't. Okay. Uh, and Chris Wallace, is that who you said the suspect's name was? Yes. Chris Wallace. Is he Christopher from? James Wallace. Christopher 38. James Wallace. Do you know how old he is? 38. 38 years old. Is what about the female? Hold on. What about the female that was in the vehicle with him? We're not releasing information on her right now. Do we have a description? Do you believe they're still together? Well, of course, we will do a release with more information to follow this. This is just a uh, brief uh, preliminary statement that we can release to you guys. You said the initial call was to Dean Road. Is that a business a yes. house? Yes, it's a business on Dean Road. What business Can you that? identify that business? Uh, the 400 block of Dean Road. 400 block of Dean yes. Road. So you do believe he's still on the loose at this point in time. Do you believe he is armed and dangerous, obviously? Well, again, what we want to focus on is everyone out there with information that sees this suspect, sees this vehicle, call us so that we can take him into custody. We have resources here from Opelika Police, Lee County Sheriff's Office, State Troopers, ALEA, SBI, uh, and I know I'm going to miss somebody, but from all over that are here assisting in this investigation. So uh, all those resources are being uh, towards locating this 
uh, subject and taking him into custody. Is Mr. Wallace from the Auburn area or the East Alabama area? No, he's not. Is he known to law enforcement? Again, we can't get into those details. But you can't confirm someone was in the vehicle with him? Yes, there was a female and Mr. Wallace. Any status at all on this Auburn police officer? They were alert and talking. Are you encouraged by that, obviously? Certainly we're encouraged, yes. What's the thought of your officers right now? So well, one of their own wounded in the line of duty. You know, it's, it's, again, it's just one of those things that you put on a uniform, you go to work every day, you are trained in how to do your job. Unfortunately, uh, you know, this is part of what we deal with. Uh, you know, we're, uh, certainly uh, encouraged by the uh, officer that he's going to make a recovery. Like I said, we just hope the uh, community prayers and thoughts are with them and uh, get him through it. Can you tell us anything else about that initial robbery of that business? Was anything taken from that business or, or was that stopped when the officer responded? No, I can't get any other details about that. Anything else we, the public needs to know at this point in time? Certainly everybody is on alert looking for this suspect. Do you still believe he is in this area or? Uh, again, like I said, we've got resources out looking. We're actively looking for him. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're, we're not going to rest until he's in custody. You said he's not from, from here. Do you know what he's, he's not, con He's not from Auburn, but from we, have, we have sent the information out statewide. So every law enforcement officer that's on duty in the state of Alabama is looking for this vehicle and this person. Can you tell us where he's from? Uh, not at this time. Captain, but he's, you, he's not from all. Sorry, I'm sorry. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Do you have a picture of him that maybe you could show? We're going to give that out to you okay. in the release. Okay. Yes. Right. Do you know what his connection to Auburn is at this point? Why he was here? Uh, again, we're not going to get into all that. Like I said, we'll have a follow-up release here shortly with information with his picture and a picture of the vehicle. So. Captain Dorsey, anything else you need from the public or anything that we can do to help you guys? No, not at this time. Thank you. All right, our prayers are Thank with you. you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. So again, uh, uh, Lorenzo Dorsey, Captain Wild, please. And Captain Dorsey, how long and do you Will think Matthews. this area is going to be blocked off to traffic? Uh, it'll be a while. It'll be a while. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. So again, an officer with the Auburn Police Department shot multiple times here at the Dollar General around 5:30 this afternoon. The good news is Captain Dorsey says that officer who's been with the Auburn Police Division for about four to five years was alert uh, when they were taken locally to East Alabama Medical Center. They were alert. You got that picture? Is that, is that a picture right there? We're going to get it out. Can, can you come back and can I can go ahead and get it on Facebook? It might, okay, you will come back? Great. So it looks like they have a picture of the suspect because right now I can't pull up my email. But as soon as Captain Dorsey comes back with the picture, we will, of course, share that with you. Um, but again, I want to get back to the officer because that's what I want to focus on right now. Captain Dorsey saying this officer was alert uh, when he left the scene, taken to what from, we, from what we understand is East Alabama Medical Center, and they are encouraged. Now, again, police officers leaving the scene right now. They are... Uh, on the lookout for a white male suspect, Christopher Wallace. He is not from this area, obviously traveling in a silver SUV, uh, wearing a camo hoodie. And then also for the first time, we were told a female passenger or a female was in the car, but you heard Dorsey not releasing much information about that person. Uh, we understand this all began with what appears to be a robbery call along Dean Road in another section of Auburn. Apparently, uh, this officer was trying to make some sort of stop where he was shot here at the Dollar General. Uh, but again, I just keep going back to the fact that the officer was alert and talking at the scene when they were taken to East Alabama Medical Center and that you heard Dorsey was encouraged and of course thoughts and prayers from the community are being asked for. So uh, as soon as I can get a hold of that email that they have sent out, we will post a picture of the suspect. We are hoping, I saw in Captain Dorsey's hand what appeared to be a picture of the suspect that they are looking for in his hand. So hopefully he will walk back over here and we can share with you on Facebook Live um, exactly what this man who they are looking at for shooting a Auburn police officer multiple times here at this Dollar General in Auburn looks like. But again, he is being described as a white male in a silver SUV Jeep 
wearing a camouflage hoodie and we understand there was also a woman in the car with him. I'm gonna replay that. Did, it, did the interview come out? Did they send out the press release? Did you get it? Um, Emily, my friend with the OA News, keeps checking her email, and as soon as she gets that release, and we'll give you the OA News credit with that again, at this point in time, it's it's not about who you work for. Our goal right now is to work together to provide as much information as we can to the community. Um, so again, they are looking for a suspect uh, in the shooting multiple times of an Auburn police officer. You heard Captain Dorsey say that Auburn police officer was alert. Uh, here at the Dollar General when they were taken to, from what we understand, a local hospital. We are assuming East Alabama Medical Center, and they are encouraged, of course, asking for the community's prayers as the Auburn Police Division comes to terms with the fact that one of their own has been shot and at least right now injured. Thank God it's just injured right now in the line of duty. And of course, we were all praying for a full and speedy recovery for that officer who again has been with the Auburn Police Department. You heard Dorsey estimate about four to five years. Uh, so again, they are looking for a suspect in a silver. Let me find that, let me see here. Oh my goodness. And this all began from what appears to be a potential robbery call along Dean Road uh, that traveled to this section of Opelika Road in Auburn here in front of the Dollar General. We uh, are assuming that some sort of uh, response was being made obviously by this Auburn police officer trying to pull these people over uh, when he was shot in the line of duty. Jeez. They have not released the officer's name at this point in time. They have not released his name at this point in time. And again, the suspect has been described. His name is Christopher James Wallace. He was in an SUV, a silver SUV, with a female who her name has not been identified. Uh, Captain Dorsey is hopefully going to bring a picture over here just as soon as he Here we go. All right, Captain Dorsey. Here, I want to get you off the street a little bit. The cars are making yeah. me nervous. I'm just going to show you guys the photo that we have available. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Here's the suspect that um, police are looking for. This is Christopher James Wallace, 38 years old, said to be in a camo hoodie, driving a silver Jeep Liberty. Silver what is this Jeep picture Liberty? taken from, Captain Dorsey? Vehicle. He's believed to be in. Is this surveillance video from earlier tonight, sir? This is video of a suspect. This is from from earlier tonight. From, from the, earlier tonight. And then this is the silver. Jeep this is a vehicle. Car. It's not the actual vehicle, right. but it's so similar this to this. Is type. This is a type vehicle, color and style. And then that's the suspect. That's the suspect. Can we keep this? No, I, I, we've got to get something printed out yeah. to you guys. Yeah. But I just want to get it but out to you guys. That's Christopher Wallace right Can there. Can we take a Was picture that, of it? Yeah. Sure. Can we? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, 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 let's get in the light. Yeah, yeah. Watch this. Let's get. Watch out, Sally. Come on now. Watch. 
Hold on. I'm just going to put it in the light. Yeah. Yeah. There, we go. there we go, everybody. This is the vehicle that they are currently looking for. This is the type of vehicle that they are. Can I see this one? This is a, not the actual vehicle. But here's the suspect right now that police need you to be on the lookout for. This was taken from surveillance video. We are assuming just moments before the shooting. Uh, but that's who you're looking for. Again, a white male wearing a camouflage hoodie in a silver Jeep SUV Liberty. Be on the lookout. Thank you, Captain Dorsey, for that information. We appreciate it so much. Thank you. That is a suspect that they are looking for at this point. Thank you. There we go. Here's more of the suspect right here uh, that they are looking for. Be on the lookout for him. Y'all stay with me right now, okay? Have you sent out that email yet, sir? No, Will's putting it together. Will is right now. All right, thank you. Can you give us a, a last known location at all? That's all I have right now, Lizzie. Thank you, Captain Dorsey. All right, you guys, it's News Series Elizabeth White. We're back now. I've got all the information that I wanted to share with you right in my hand, so I won't be interrupted. Again, uh, from what we understand, an Auburn police officer was shot multiple times and taken to the hospital as law enforcement throughout the area are now searching for the person that is responsible or the suspect in this shooting. From what we understand, there was a possible armed robbery at the 400 block of Dean Road. Uh, we understand the responding officer spotted the suspect's vehicle and from what we understand was trying to make a traffic stop near the Dollar General and that is when this officer was shot multiple times. You did hear Captain Dorsey say thank goodness that this officer was alert and speaking uh, when they were taken to from what we assume is going to be East Alabama Medical Center for treatment but again that officer shot multiple times so there was a white male in that vehicle accompanied with a white female um, in that suspect vehicle we understand the man has been identified as 38 year old Christopher Wallace again 38 year old Christopher Wallace we are told he is not from the Auburn area uh, we just showed his mugshot Captain Dorsey just showed his mugshot to us uh, we understand that um, he was also with a female in that vehicle, but at this point in time, investigators are not releasing her description. And I would have to say the reason they're not releasing her description is because she is in custody with them. She is no longer on the run. 
but again, that's just me speculating. Uh, now, from what we understand, um, goodness gracious, multiple law enforcement agencies are searching for him as we speak. If you see him, you are asked to please call 911 immediately. We are unsure if he is armed at this point in time, but he is to be considered dangerous. They are also looking for a silver Jeep a silver Jeep SUV Liberty uh, that was involved in the officer shooting. From what we understand, police are going to be out here at the scene for several more hours at least uh, here on Opelika Road. So here at Gentry Drive all the way down towards really where the U-Haul and the Auburn Mall is, that has been closed to through traffic. All right, you guys, I think what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and end the Facebook Live because what I wanna do is share this information just as soon as I possibly can with this. Oh wait, here comes Brandon Hughes. All right. Lee County uh, District Attorney Brandon Hughes walking over here right now. Uh, Brandon, do you have anything to say? No, uh, we're just, you know, been in whatever support we can however they need it just working um, to get this thing handled yeah you seemed a little emotional when you came up on the scene what was it like when you for you when you heard that call that a police officer had been shot look man the things they do for us every single day and when you know when all at the time all I knew is that somebody is, is that an officer was shot didn't have any detail um, you don't know what you're gonna walk up on um, it makes you angry. It, made me, it makes you angry, extremely angry. Captain Dorsey did say that the officer was alert and talking when he left the scene. We assume that he's at East Alabama Medical Center. Can you provide any encouraging news to the community right now that is praying all across East Alabama for a recovery for this Auburn police officer? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it up to Auburn to talk about their officer and the condition he's in. We just ask for everybody to pray for the officer, pray for the doctors and nurses, and look, pray for the folks that are chasing this person down. They're gonna find him and, um, we're going to get justice done in this case. What do you want the community to know about Mr. Yeah. Wallace? What do you want to know? What is he from the Auburn area, from East I'm Alabama? Not, I'm not talking about all that. I don't much care about Mr. Wallace at this point. Um, like I said, my job will come in when they catch him, and they're going to get him. <laughs> and I have full faith they're going to find this guy, and we're going to handle him. Is he considered armed and dangerous at this point in time? Well, he shot a police officer, so. Now, what about the female? Uh, Captain Dorsey said there was a female in the vehicle with him, but he's not releasing her description. Is that because the female is in custody with you guys right now? Listen, I'm gonna let, again, just mm -hmm. Auburn PD, I'm gonna let them control the flow of information as far as the case goes. So what's gonna happen when they do get this suspect in custody? Then that's when you come into play. What do you want to say to the community about getting justice for this Auburn police officer and this family? Listen, I think we've got a long uh, history since I've been in of seeking justice and seeking it appropriate, and that's what we're gonna do in this case. Anything else you can think of to say right now, Brandon? All right, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Uh, Brandon Hughes, there you go. Uh, not too happy with the suspect in this case. Gonna let Auburn police investigators handle this situation. He says when they catch this man and he says they will catch him, that is when his office will step in and get justice for this officer and his law enforcement family and his family. So again, uh, the suspect is described as a white male wearing a camouflage hoodie. Mm. He has been identified as 38 year old Christopher James Wallace. He is not from the Auburn location. We understand he was with a female. They are not releasing the female's description at this point in time. Uh, they are also, again, looking for that silver Jeep SUV, that silver Jeep Liberty with an Alabama tag 6AB5267. 
And again, the suspect, Christopher Wallace, he's a white male wearing a camo hoodie. And of course, if you see the suspect or this vehicle, you were asked to call 911 or Auburn police immediately. Uh, back to the Auburn officer, uh, Captain Dorsey did say and did confirm that he was alert and speaking when he was transported by ambulance from the scene to East Alabama Medical Center. So certainly that is encouraging news. You're hearing both from uh, Captain Lorenzo Dorsey with the Auburn Police Department and District Attorney Brandon and Hughes that they are asking for the prayers uh, for every single, not only this Auburn police officer, but every single law enforcement officer and their family in this community, and not just here in East Alabama or Lee County, but across the state of Alabama and across our nation as day in and day out now, our men and women in uniform are being confronted with gunfire by armed suspects at an alarming rate. And tonight, in a horrific turn of events, uh, that devastation has visited the Auburn community and an Auburn police officer has been shot multiple times as the community prays for their recovery and the men and women, not only with the Auburn Police Department and the Lee County Sheriff's Office and Alabama State Troopers are searching for the person responsible, 38-year-old Christopher Wallace. They are coming for you. And as you heard, Lee County District Attorney says, you will be caught, they will catch you. And justice will be served in this case. But of course, tense moments at this point in time, obviously, you know, you hate to ask the question, is he considered armed and dangerous? And, you know, Brandon responding, well, he shot a police officer. We understand that. This is a dangerous situation now for the community as they search for a person who is armed and is capable of shooting a police officer and apparently being involved in some sort of robbery just down the street here along Dean Road in the city of Auburn. Uh, this is a dangerous situation and if you do see this man or if you see this vehicle, this silver Jeep Liberty that investigators are looking for, you were asked to please call 911 immediately. All right, that's going to do it for now. We're going to be looking for that press release from the Auburn Police Department. And just as soon as I can, we'll share a picture of the suspect with you as well as the written information sent out by the Auburn Police Department. And before we go, just want to let everybody know in the law enforcement community that, of course, you were in our thoughts and prayers as well as with your family. And again, we just ask everyone to pray for this officer with the Auburn Police Department and as we all hope that he makes a full recovery.